Welcome back, tubers. Hey, look, this is uh, Mr. Fixit coming at you with a Home Depot siege review. This is a dishwasher. All right, this is the model number W1115815. This is, uh, it's got top, top buttons for controls by Whirlpool. This is your controls right up here up top so you don't have to look down in front of the thing. There's no dials. You just run everything from here. Okay. You got your high temp wash, sandy wrench. You got your dry on uh, regular or extended and start and cancel. Okay. It's just a uh, pop open. You just pull it open. And the inside is all stainless so you're going to be clean. Okay, you got three three racks. You got this extra rack up top for silverware. And, uh, and then you have your middle rack. Comes with the drain hose. Comes with, uh, with some uh, washer pods and rinse fluid for, uh, it's a trial pack. All right, so you want to take these foamies off before you use it and take this off. But this is your bottom rack right down here. Okay, and you also can put your cups or silverware, anything you might lose can go down in here. If you don't like the top rack for the silverware, you can put your silverware down in here. Okay, this thing is removable. So if you have a big pot or something, you can put it in that area. Put this back when you're done. So, you can see your heating element down there. That's beautiful in here. This is a nice unit. It's all stainless, like I said. So, it's going to be running clean all the time. All right. So, you got your soap here and your rinse additive goes in here. Or if you're using pods, you can just throw the pods in. Okay. Shuts. Clean front. Okay. And then comes with a full instruction manual. It's got your clips for attaching to the countertop. It's got your hose clamp for your drain. The drain's inside here. Now you may have to pick up, if you get it delivered by Home Depot, then they will include installation and the other package with your uh, water supply and your electric supply. But if you pick it up in store, you may have to get them separately. Okay? So you may want to read through your packet, get everything straight. All right. And uh, usually when I install these dishwashers, I tilt them back. I tilt them back like so. Remove these screws here. And that will allow you to get your electrical boxes right here. Your, your line, supply line for water is right here. And that will be connected with this connector right here. That's a 90. Okay, it's got the hose end here and then your 3 8 over here and then your drain line is down under here okay that's where you're gonna hook your drain line for uh, for the wastewater okay usually I just sit it back like this and uh, connect everything up throw it out the back there slide it into the hole you have your wheels here your foot wheels are adjustable there's four of them okay so you want to adjust them up right so it just fits slides in underneath the countertop put it back up and upright and then your clips your clips for the countertop are going right in here okay they're going to clip in there and then you attach them with some short screws to your countertop underneath Okay, so it has a full full sound cover. This helps, you know, to you know keep it quiet. I did not run this yet, 
we uh, aren't really ready to hook it up but I did want to review it for all of you who are thinking about buying one or have bought one of course you can come here and ask me any questions you have again this is Whirlpool W1115 8115 any questions guys leave them in the comments again thanks for coming and watching my videos and like and subscribe guys i am out of here